y'all another day on the vlog. We are headed downtown area. We're meeting up at Torrance today. Gonna do some bank fishing, some good old bank fishing. Check us out, man. Five sticks in the whip. And we also got some extra line we might need to retie on the spinning combo. Gonna hit a spot that we have had some success in the past. Maybe try some new bodies of water around it. And you know how that goes with us. Pond hopping is a must. And you ain't gonna see us stop hopping until we get on it, man. So let's go ahead, get to the spot, meet up with old T, and get some lines in the water. Oh, by the way, if you didn't know, Wu Tungsten has hooked us up. Fishing, fishing, fishing is essential, baby. Okay, well that was a quick drive. Just got a GoPro out of the back. Uh, Y'all know, because I'm wearing it. And I think I'm gonna go with the Sanko. That's what produced for us last time. It's very stained, but Torrance still swears they're gonna see this thing. So I'm just gonna roll with it. Um, I think my rod tip is a little screwed though. Torrance is here, by the way, and check out his little roof rack he's got for Yakima now too. Dual kayak racks, which you've never seen one on top of. So I'll use it eventually. Let me figure out this tip situation. I think we're good now. Are you doing weightless? Last time, last time we tried it with a weight too and it didn't work, did it? Torrance is throwing the uh, weightless lunker log. I'm gonna throw Okeechobee crawl off cracking. I'm about to just throw the buzz bait right now. <laughs> I got a spinner bait too. This water is too crummy, man. I think I'm gonna go for a chatterbait. I'm gonna go for the chatterbait, chatterbait. I wanna be able to cover a little bit of this water. I know they can barely see, so I'm gonna be going more off of vibration from the blade of this chatterbait to get their attention. Torrance is throwing the spinnerbait, also another great option when there's not great visibility. This one right here might draw them in from the vibration a little bit further than the spinnerbait. The spinnerbait will definitely Get their attention if he cruises right by one's face though with all the extra blades there so tough to say which one would work he's throwing a lighter shad color and i'm going with black and blue i assume both will work we'll see which one hits first though man look at all this action like i'm telling you that's why i've been, I've been casting shallow to start y'all i've been seeing so much stuff close to the bank it's making me think some bass are coming up to feed throwing that z-man original chatterbait nothing crazy a couple of bucks there bandito bug one of my favorite chatterbait trailers on the back just pairing it up black and blue with black and blue, kind of like the rod and reel over here. And uh, it's a good thing I checked my drag too, because I gave that a little tug and it just came off there like nothing. So, just got her tightened up and uh, we're gonna cast around. I am seeing some turtles, which uh, means absolutely nothing. Yeah, this stuff is chocolate milk after the storms we've been getting yesterday morning and this morning. So I imagine the bite is kind of turned off, but I know I can get a reaction strike. Maybe this thing across the street. Look at this mess. Oh, dude, look at that inflow. Torrents, get over here. Now, this is nuts. This is gonna be a catch right here. Ooh, I think I got bumped. Be advised, Car 4 has control of the pursuit. Uh oh. You got a feeling this guy is looking for me. No fishing? Getting kicked out, y'all. <sighs> and then along came Betsy. She said, can't be fishing here. I ain't got time for this anyways. I need to be promoting my newest video. If you had. All right, new vids up, y'all. Guess we going somewhere else, huh? Those drains look so good. I was thinking I was definitely gonna get one. Where do you wanna go now? Uh, hold on, quick pit stop. What is this? This just looked too cool. I don't think there's anything in here, but. Oh my God! A big old bullfrog! Woo! The bass are eating good! Oh! Oh! <laughs> the stop on the side of the street! No Random way! Spot, on the big old Mondo! <laughs> oh! Random spot. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. He's a Dude, yeah, we had no just... clue. I said, look, there's some water. Let's cast real quick. I thought it was a bluegill. Just do, 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 do. Good thing you let him have it. Did. I think I have one too. Okay. Okay. No. 
Crack and crawl pulling through, baby! <laughs> little side, little side of the street spot. <laughs> no way, you two. This is so. Oh my god, what are we fishing? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. This oh, you're good. Okay, this is just absolutely crazy, y'all. We did not anticipate to catch a fish down here, and then we just caught two in two dang minutes. And look, is this thing not one of the fattest bass you've seen? I mean, what? It makes zero sense. He's ready to go, man. He's ready to go. My first largemouth in like a week or two. I've been out of town, man. Up north catching smallies. It feels good. Okay, look, Torrance and I were mapped to the other place, man. And I just saw what looked like potentially some water. Didn't even see it on the maps. And I said, okay, let's stop here. Dude, two fish in two minutes. And look at this, it opens up. How do we get in here? Look, there's more water in there. Oh, it's gonna be a sleigh fest. I wanna fish this so bad. We're getting in here. Is this just as simple as lifting an opening? Oh, <laughs> say less. Dude, look at this oasis back here. We are about to slay. This looks like tropical paradise. Where do I begin? Oh my God, look at that waterfall. Dude, this has got to be one of the most secret places in all of DFW right here. That was a lot of ants. What a spot, man. Waterfalls. This place is crazy. Absolutely nuts. And to think that there's bass in here. Imagine seeing this when it's clear, dude. Whoa. We might have to schedule our return trip. <laughs> no way. Ah, he did have him. Dude, that's a two. No. Nice one, dude. Look at that guy. What? <laughs> oh my God. Unreal. Back here, Hidden Gym, dude. I've never seen anything like this, I'm telling you. Torrance going to town with the Mondo Worm. I'm gonna go back to where it opens up. I got smacked right when I got in that little corner right there. Anything under here? Can I get in there? Kind of, not really. Yo, you are on them. The Mondo Worm. Oh my God. <laughs> what is even happening? Why do I own a crack and crawl? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about these little finds, man. <laughs> this would be a perfect habitat. Like, I wonder what else is in here. Nice little casting spot. One three pounder. It's all we ask. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, T. As soon as I cast it in there, come on up. <laughs> dude, as soon as I hit the water. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, who'd have thought there was some fish back here, huh? Pretty funny. I'm sorry? Bass. Is this a bass? Uh, Largemouth large bass. Yeah, pretty shocking. I know. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> if you saw the spot I just cast it in, too. Oh, my craw's effed. <laughs> This might be the last one back here, man. We have just been catching these little fatties. And by little fatties, I do mean little fatties. We're looking for a three. I feel like there's one in here. They're eating the Mondo worm, man. There's gotta be something good. Let's go ahead and make a few more casts and see what happens, otherwise I might make a little move. Slim shake, the big yeah, one. Dude, that yeah, dude, that was fun, man. Those things, I think I'm gonna use those on shaky heads just pretty much all time. Dude, Torrance hooking me up with the Mondo worm. Some people may use a bigger hook for this, but nah. We'll be all right, we'll just let him eat it. I didn't even get a chance to let that guy eat it. He was on. Dude, as soon as the as soon as the crawl hit the water. I wish you guys would have seen that. I know I had the perspective tilted here because I was literally trying to cast by my feet. And then the one time I decided to cast like over there, it hit right away and was out of frame. So I'm sorry if y'all missed that hit, but it was, you know, just know it was cool. All right, now hold up. There's still some unanswered questions I got about this place. I'm pretty sure it's locked, but I'm going over there. Oh my goodness. The keys to the kingdom. We just got exclusive access to the most behind the scenes waters you have ever seen oh dude it's like clearer up here is this real life oh got bites first little flip in here under the waterfall deal 
Got hit again. I'm not sure if this is a bass. Here we go. Clear water and grass. Oh, dude, this one stole it. Did y'all see him just eat that? I don't know if there's any bass up here. It seems to all be bluegill. I'm, I think there is like one bass or two in here, but it's so shallow. You can like see them eat it. <laughs> Same here. Mark, bro. All right. Have fun with whatever you're up to tonight. Torrance is out of here, man. Leaving me to fend for myself. Oh, my just got smacked again, dude. Now it's all these gill eating this thing. I'm telling you. Back in the groove, Weston. Back in the groove. Focus. And I think we might make a move too. Let's go and see if there's any other spots around here. What a place, man. All right, then. Till next time. Okay, man, we have just rolled up to the second urban location. Place looks so sick. The sunset is beautiful. We're about to get lines in the water. Y'all want to know a little secret? I'm about to show you something you've never seen before. This is off the chain right here. You want all these Guggen baits in your pocket, but you don't want to carry around that whole unbendable bag, right? Ha! <laughs> Killing it. Revolutionary, man coming up with new life hacks for fishing every day on the Weston Smith channel, man. Subscribe for more. All right, let's see about finding a fish out here in the urban oasis. People are tripping like, is he really walking around with a Mondo worm right now? Oh, wow. You know, I haven't hit this place since the pandemic uh, kind of came to a lull. I have a feeling I might get kicked out. A lot more people out here than normal. I'm gonna need a heavier weight. I'm gonna have to punch through some of this junk. Dude, look at all this new grass that's grown up. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite. Come on, man. Don't embarrass me in front of all these people. Let's get a, let's get a bite out here. Ah, woo. Had one. Can't see anything? Not yet. Today. More bluegill. Man, is he swimming with it? Oh. What do we got? There we go, first one of the night. Out here. All right, come on up, kid. Dude, this is like a uh, like a Guadalupe. Look at that, look at the lines. So nuts, dudes. What do I even have on the hook? Okay, so there you go, man. Little urban landscape out here with the crack and crawl, getting things done. Little fatty, dude. He is feeding up on all these bluegill that keep hitting this thing. And now I'm left with one pinch we're gonna have to re-rig. Let's get him back in the water, but what a fish, dude. Look at that pattern. Crazy. Okay, time for crawl number two. That's a deal. I'm all about it. That was a crazy catch. I was not expecting that. That was a cool catch. As little as I might have hyped that up, you just don't want to look like a fool out here setting the hook 500 times and not actually catching a fish. So, well, it's getting late and I still got to go pick up the boat tonight, actually. Almost nine o'clock. I probably should call it. Caught one fish. I would say that's a success, especially because it was that uh, off-brand largemouth aftermarket. So, maybe just another cast or two. We'll head out. Yeah, I think it's one and done, y'all. Let's take her home. Oh, you know what? Does Devin have the truck? She's got the truck. How can I even go get the boat? Well, we're in trouble. I guess we're getting it tomorrow morning before we go fish. Okay, I'll see you guys back at the house. It's almost midnight. We are needing to get started on this edit. Devin and I actually need to go out fishing in the morning. And like I said, I was going to go pick up the boat, but she had taken the truck to work, which I just totally forgot about. So I wasn't able to. Anyways. I hope you enjoyed today's edit. It was a little bit different. I'm trying to do a little bit more of like these cuts. Not today's edit, maybe today's edit, but yesterday's edit is what I really mean. I just put it out today. And so if you guys enjoy the different style of editing I'm doing, I'm trying to keep things fresh for you guys, let me know in the comments below. And I will uh, take that into consideration when putting out these future videos, which you know you're gonna get one a day from this channel over here, man, because we are trying to crank the stuff out. I feel like I'm gonna fall behind at some point, but for now, Everything is all gravy. Also, I've got a sneak peek, a preview of something for you guys that is very exciting. I can't show you much, or I guess I could, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna show you, oh, that's great. I'll show you the logo. Okay, so check this out. See that right there? Y'all can probably guess what this is. 
Anyways, we've got some exciting stuff coming your way, you guys, so don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on, and we'll see you tomorrow. <gasps>